Ah, que ganó. Aquí no hay palanca. Aquí no hay palanca. Hay que darle la lata acá al compadre. Ganamos. Ganamos, eh. Nosotros ganamos. Todas ganaron. Todas ganaron porque hicieron buen trabajo. Muy profesionales, me encantó. Counseling be chosen over medicating? So that's in helping teens cope with mental health issues, should counseling be chosen over medicating? I definitely think that counseling should be chosen over medication first because sometimes the problems are just in your head and they don't require medication, which can only make the problem worse. Thank you, Josephine. Woo! Mexico! Como bueno para contestar. Y para pelear también. service without expecting anything in return, such as fulfilling a graduation requirement. I'll read one more time. How can we encourage more teens to volunteer for community service without expecting anything in return, such as fulfilling a graduation requirement? Yes, this is a very important question to me. Thank you for asking. For me, I love to volunteer, and I I see it as inspiration to young children, teens, and even adults for all helpless victims, including children, teens, or adults that have mental or physical disabilities that all should feel loved and equal and empowered. Thank you. Thank you, Katya. MWLS, made with love and sustainability, the Eco Fashion Project. Wise Lawmakers have full power to create this change. What they lack is a voice, a group of people. So when we all unite together, we can make the most amazing change. We as consumers have the power. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. 
Tails Pereira. Crystal is the daughter of Monty and Lori Pereira. that whoever interacts with our keiki and our children is qualified, so I would say yes. I believe it's important for teens such as myself to get qualified and the license to work with our keiki. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Crystal. Experiential learning can be done in the classroom without the use of technology is by using Lego blocks. So children can be able to build and learn how to architect and construct things using Lego blocks. Thank you, Malie. degree in broadcast meteorology from the University of Hawaii in 2014 and was their feature baton twirler at football, basketball, and volleyball games. Cuando salga la suben, la suben. Cuando salga la suben. 
Ella, ella ganó. Es la reina de Hawái 2019. Hola, 
signs that a teen is spending too much time on her personal device? Again, your question is, what are some signs that a teen is spending too much time on her personal device? Some signs that teens are spending too much time on the devices are when they're constantly on it and you see it and they try to avoid you at times. Mm -hmm. And that disconnection that you feel with them, it's also a feeling that you get. And that's how you necessarily feel their disconnection and their connection in technology. Thank you. Thank you, Nicola. Hmm? question is, should the federal government make early childhood education mandatory? I do believe the federal government should make early childhood education mandatory due to the positive benefits that early childhood education brings to young children. Thank you, Charlize. $500 UH scholarship donated by Dr. Dennis Momeyer, a $500 educational grant to a school of her choice, and a $500 SAT scholarship from ALC are Matt Wright of ALC and Kay Lee, treasurer of the Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Teen Organization. Our first runner-up is Crystal Pereira. ladies who have yet to be called are feeling because I experienced it too. It's nerves and excitement all mixed in one. So, here we go. I won. Our new Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Teen will receive a $1,000 scholarship to the University of Hawaii from the Miss Hawaii Organization, a $1,000 scholarship to the University of Hawaii from donor Dr. Dennis Momeyer, a $1,000 educational grant from a community donor to a school of her choice, a complete $1,500 SAT preparation package from Accelerations Learning Center and an ukulele donated by Kualoha Ukulele. Presenting the awards this evening are Sophia Stark, who is counting down her final moments as Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Teen 2018. Sophia will be presenting her official crown and banner. Matt Wright of Acceleration Learning Center will also be presenting, and Muriel Anderson, the Executive Director of Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Team. Also presenting the symbolic certificate for Hawaiian Legacy Hardwoods is Dave Flagg, Scholarship awesome. Administrator for the Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Team Organization. She's also going to be gifted with a tooth whitening system, thanks to Dr. Luke Turia, father of my Miss Hawaii sister, Catherine Turia, Miss Hawaii 2017. Jewelry from Brenda Reichel of Carrots and Carrots. 
jewelry from Stephanie Mendieta of Hu Cola Designs, and jewelry from Flora Liu of Liu Coral Designs, as well as a porcelain figure from Peter Okamoto. An ukulele donated by Kola Ho Ukulele, presented by our Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Team 2017, Maya Mayashiro. <laughs> Gowns for her national competition and other appearances from Jasmine Baker of True Elegance and Callista by Cotton Garco. An Avon Glamour bag from Amanda Ahanui, a hair curler from Susanna Hunt, a year's supply of lei, and the flowers from this evening from Todd Oshiro of Always Flowers, 808 Weddings and Events. And don't worry parents, she will also receive an all expenses paid trip and an all expenses paid competition wardrobe, along with a three piece legacy set for her national competition, all compliments of the Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Team Organization. Once she is announced, we ask that her parents and immediate family only of our new Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Teen are welcome to join her on stage. Parents and friends of the rest of our contestants, you may greet your teen in the Lanai area. We ask that you please do not come down to the stage as we will be taking some official photos. The ladies will join you shortly outside where there's a beautiful banner that you can use to take your memory photos. She will be competing for Miss America's Outstanding Teen in Orlando, Florida, and we know she'll continue to be a positive role model for teens in Hawaii. Please give it up for our new Miss Hawaii's Outstanding Teen 2019. Second runner up is Jovelle Lucas. Congratulations to Michaela Aquí, aquí no hay palanca, eh. Aquí ganó por su talento y su. En México sí hay palanca, aquí no. Que bailó bien padre. Ganamos, ganamos. Está al revés. Mi bandera está famosa aquí. Miren, mira la que la que ganó ya se fue. <risa> México. Y el niño siempre anda pegado, ¿eh? El chiquito. 
A ver, jala la mano, sí. Jala la mano, sí. México con chi China. Acá traicionó la patria y compadre. Se casó con una china. Y es mexicano. en el centro comercial en Rocha Center foto oh el certificado que ganó o ella ¿Eh? oh, ¿sí? 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 vámonos a comer yo estoy en el número uno Ah, de ver ahí en ¿En qué número están ustedes, chicas? Yo me parqué aquí en los ahí. ¿Dónde? Y la esa. Ah, este está bonito, eh. Nunca había subido para acá. Convención. Por aquí. aquí abajo, con el uno. Les voy a dar raite para. Ay, hijo de la mecha, a ver si no caigo de hocico, oye. No, aquí caigo de hocico. Eso es peligroso. Miren el centro. Centro de convenciones en Hawái, esa es la bandera de Australia. Acá voy yo. Pero parece que es hotel también, es hotel, ¿no? Ahí veo que están bajando unos. Modelen, modelen. No, 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 no,